I love this song. This song is pretty. Um, the Moon and the Sun by Deborah DeLuca. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're just t- this song represents your DJ style. So we're just talking about like different styles, club style, rave style. So this song represents your DJ style. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about what you've involved, what you have evolved to at this point in your career. Okay, so I feel like at this point in my career, I had already done all the the bars. And I seen like I didn't feel that positive energy back when I was DJing the music that I loved. Sure. So, and I, I when I would when I would even listen to Deborah DeLuca's music, I feel like not only myself but anyone who I was around when I played it, that energy was just so positive. It put me in the direction where I was like. This is the vibe that I want. Yeah. This is how I want the room to feel any time that I play. Mm-hmm. And this is the path that I'm now going to go on. And I mean, I think she's an amazing artist. She reminds me of myself a lot. She started off in the club scene doing um, like bottle service, bartending and all that while also still having a day job like sure. I did. Because I... I did accounting, I did insurance, I do real estate, but also I've always been, had my foot in the door in the club scenes, doing either from anywhere from admissions to promoting to bartending to bottle service since I was 18 years old. Yeah. So she did the same thing. And so you're um, inspired by her. Yeah, she's she's like a huge inspiration to me. That's and awesome. I think she's beautiful, you know, yeah. Italian <laughs> and uh it was. It, I actually got to see her in person um, a couple months back, which okay. was which was amazing. But I didn't. I didn't try to go meet her or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, awesome, though. I mean, will. I, I feel you though. When uh, the first time I heard uh, DJ Micro play, you definitely know Micro. Of course. Um, was like, 2000, and it was on his, t- his Technics 2000 tour, and I hadn't bought turntables yet, and I was like. And when I heard him play, I was like, "This is what this is what I want to sound like. This is amazing." So I think it's really it's really awesome to be able to find someone who inspires you and you connect with to t- give you a, a you know just inspiration with your music. Even when it comes to producing, in every one of Deborah DeLuca's tracks, there's a little sound in the beginning that it's like without even knowing what the name. Without even knowing, you know it's her. Yeah. She, so it's signature like, sound. Exactly. So that inspired me to do the same, which you'll see when my music actually does get released. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, so speaking of your music getting released, I'm sure it's going to be on Funky Element. And so tell me, how did you guys meet? And how and what did you see in her? And what do you, what do you see in Dank as like... In your in your in the in the music world that you guys operate together. All right, so um, we actually live four minutes away from each other, which we didn't realize. So, so uh, we actually one of our first meetings was was at an industry party. Okay, and we realized that um, we lived like so close to each other. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I. All I, I didn't really know him and his past, like all the things he has done yeah. before, whatever. And um, I just thought, okay, he's into DJing. I'm she into thought DJing. Thought I spun drum and bass. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm not really that into drum and bass. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, we should definitely <laughs> hang out, play some music, blah blah blah. It's so, an acquired taste. <laughs> so the first couple weeks that we are even hanging out together, I just was thought thought that like he was on. A newer level like me because like I said I just got into it in 2018 sure and then one day I like looked and I seen it, I was like oh he did this in like 2013 yeah. and, blah, blah, blah. and then I was like oh I didn't even realize you did that yeah and then I think at that point he was like this girl is so is genuine yeah and that's what brought us more closer together because yep. I'm sure he's had people in his life that wanted to be friends with him or wanted to be close with him or not see what, yeah. what they could do yep. for him and that was never me yep. and that's why a couple times when he did ask me to be a part of some performances i said no because i didn't want anybody to think that I understand. But, yeah, no. yeah 
So, but but um, like I said, uh, I think I think that was proven at one of the beach raves that yeah. you know. <laughs> and dang, what did what did you see in Tina Marie that really just wanted you to get behind her and and promote her and help her build her career as well? Passion and heart, work ethic, and love for the music. Yeah. I mean, this girl loves the music like I do. Yeah, so that's what that's, I was going to say. You heavy, saw yourself in her. Yeah. yeah. It's like twin flint. You know what I'm saying? Like, nope. uh, you know, um, you know, she's a killer. Yeah, she's that's killer. awesome. She, she, the music, music wise, she's a beast. Track selection is phenomenal. Production wise, you're going to see what's what she's got coming. And uh, it's going to speak for itself. Awesome.